Hey guys, I'm Echo Kellum from NBC's Grand Crew, and this is That's So Random. You're originally from Chicago. Your thoughts on Chicago style pizza? Um, love everything about Chicago. The pizza is bomb. The deep dish vibes I do like, but I was always a thin crust kind of guy, but there is a spot in Chicago that kills thin crust called Italian Fiesta on the south side, so good. But if you want those Giordano vibes, I mean the deep dish is really fire. It's just, I feel like I'm full after one slice. So, you know, I gotta keep that thin crust popping. You play Noah Coles on Grand Crew. Real quick, what's new in season two? And has the show made you more of a wine expert connoisseur? First of all, thank God I can read because connoisseur would have been difficult if I couldn't read. What's new, I mean, new in the season is more situational comedy, more hijinks, a lot more heart. I mean, you really get to see how we're all playing off each other in different ways. More wine, of course, and the show has made me more of a wine enthusiast slash connoisseur. And the story is based on our actual friend group that meets in a wine bar on a weekly basis, so definitely help. Your character is a hopeless romantic. Why do you think he has so much trouble finding love? Because dating is trash. Real bad. Uh, I have learned that from real life. Um, but I also think a part of the reason why Noah has issues finding love is because you have to find self-love with yourself before you find, I think, a love that you can treat the right way. Which of your co-stars make you laugh most or messes up the most takes? Okay, this is two questions. Carl definitely makes me laugh the most, and I would say <laughs> our Juilliard train actor, Justin, is the one who breaks the most on takes. So take that, Juilliard. I'm just kidding, Juilliard's a, a wonderful place. I know a couple of teachers there and they're very excellent and I, I only wish that I could have went to Juilliard. So this is a little bit of my, uh, <clears throat> what's your earliest memory? You know, running outside the house butt naked with a raccoon hat on the slide down the slides right outside of my apartment? Yep. You're known for acting and comedy, but you're also a musician. Be careful getting bezel with the special that the rebel or the rebels when they come in for the head of pop. What if it was pop? Describe your music and new single, your influences, and what motivated you to take music seriously? Oh, this is a great question. Uh, my music I like to describe is experimental hip hop. I love to play with ambient beats or like different rock elements and things like that. I, I love to rap. People that have influenced me in the industry are people like Logic, Childish Gambino, A Tribe Called Quest. The biggest reason why I did it, why I do music is because my brother was a famous rapper in Chicago years ago. He passed away, unfortunately. But it's a part of me kind of trying to keep his legacy alive a little bit and leaning into music, so that's why I do it. Uh, what song can you not help but sing out loud when it comes on? Can you sing a bit of it? Raise a glass to freedom, something they will never take away, no matter what they tell you. Raise a glass to the four of us, tomorrow there'll be more of us, sharing the story of tonight. Okay, so that's a little bit of that, there you go. You played the character Mr. Terrific on Arrow, is there anything you miss about being a superhero? Not really. No, it was tough. Being a superhero, you gotta get, you gotta go through like three hours of makeup and all this stuff. But I mean, the, honestly, the thing I missed the most is working with that cast. So fun. We were absolutely insane. But that was such a fun job to work. But very tough, very tough job. You know, we worked the midnight shifts and the freezing cold and the rain. So it was a very difficult, difficult job. But I loved every second of it, especially my cast. I'm sorry. What black actor or actress's work must you watch right away as soon as it is released? Oh man, I really badly want to say Will Smith, but that's you can't say that now because of the Oscars. You can't say that. Uh, but Denzel, I love anything Denzel does. Anything Viola Davis touches or Angela Bassett. I'm all about it. I'm at the theaters. I'm like, yo, let's go. What's one thing you can admit you suck at? Oh, let's see, I, there's so much to choose from. Uh, I suck at singing, you know, I'm trying to get better. As you heard earlier, I'm not great at singing. Thank God for auto-tune, it has been a lifesaver. 